Hello photography fans and welcome to another episode about classic cameras and classic photo gear. In today's episode we're not going to be talking about yet another classic camera. I wanted to make this video to give you an update on my darkroom and it's coming along very nicely. I'll give you a short tour, there's actually nothing here except for bare drywall and um, and some plumbing done. And behind me there's a cabinet with newly acquired cameras. Uh, I lost the count, I have to check my inventory on these cameras but I have several of them that we'll be discussing soon in coming months. And I, I hope that if there are no hiccups that this darkroom basement project will be finished by December 31st. And I mean finished in terms of ready to, to rock. We'll be making some salt prints, we'll be making all kinds of cool stuff. And we'll also be discussing some interesting cameras. And just to give you a heads up, I'd like to show you a few of our future uh, future cameras. Here I have this beautiful Contaflex I, I acquired lo from local store and to support a local business and it's a very very good camera. It works fine I haven't shot a film with it yet but I will I will be loading that film soon so we'll definitely be talking about this beauty. Another one I got over here is this Trump Reflex and it's perfect for the day after election. Trump won the election, so we'll be talking about Trump Preflex. It's actually Trump Freflex. It's actually a German reflector uh, that, for export purposes, it was renamed uh, to Trump Freflex and it was actually exported by Sears. This camera is not really functioning. It is it is working, but I would not shoot film with it yet. It has some broken um, uh, view uh, view windows, viewing windows for the film advance, and the film and the uh, focusing is rather stiff. So I'll be sending that in to Mark Hansen to get it fixed. He tells me four months lead time. That's a pretty long time, but we'll get it fixed. And we'll definitely be talking about this beautiful classic camera. Here I got another beautiful camera and this one comes with a history. It's a graphics, a Graflex graphics, Century graphics and this is a miniature version of it. Beautiful beautiful camera came with a flash as you can see. It came with a um, it came with a roll film back, which is loaded with film, and I'll be shooting it soon. I actually have it loaded with Arista EDU. It's a beautiful camera. Comes with a much desired graph lock back, and although molded into the back of the camera, it's still a very good feature. So we'll be we'll be discussing this beauty as well. And just to give you a heads up, this camera came with film. I developed that film, I processed it, and there were two pictures of it on, on the film. And I'll be sharing the history of one of these pictures. There's yet another camera, and this one is not as classic as the other ones are, but this one is a Vilia. Vilia Lomo style camera, very similar to Smyrna. I got it from Russia, and I already shot a film with it. It's a simple camera, very, very easy to use, and I've already had some experience with it, so I'll be sharing my opinions, the overview, and some pictures with you soon. And the last camera is very classic. This guy is a, this is a Seneca number 9 camera. I haven't researched it much, but I'm sure it's from early 20s maybe late teens and it's a 5x7 
folding camera. It's a Bayo Bill camera. Came with some uh, glass plate holders. And I'll be definitely be checking it out. The only downside of it is that the latches are broken, so this camera kind of does its own thing. But I'll try to maybe fix it to some kind of stable surface and shoot some um, studio style portraits with it. So we'll be checking this one out soon. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. We'll have this darkroom running soon. And I'll invite you over and you can see what it looks like after it's done. I'm not going to have the fanciest equipment. I'm still going to have my darkroom in a bin that I shared with you a few years ago. I still have my old trusty enlarger. The nice thing is, I'm going to have running water, plumbing, and I don't have to clean up my stuff like I did when I was using it our bathroom. So this is my little room where I can put stuff in, close the door, nobody gets in and no, no harm done and I can leave the chemicals out, I don't have to clean up, sweep up. It will be really really cool. So until next time, keep shooting film, and keep the film alive.